Welcome to this look ahead at the year 2020 in the port of Hamburg, the gateway to the world. A lot of people really love the port, but we mustn't get complacent, we have to keep at it. So let's dive into it and look at the big issues in 2020 and discuss them with HPA Chief Executive Jens Meyer in a new episode of Port Is What We Do. The first big issue, adjustment of the navigation channel. The goal of the various undertakings that involves is to make the port even more accessible. The Elbe shipping channel is being deepened and broadened in parts from the port of Hamburg to the mouth of the river. The work is in full swing. The adjustment of the navigation channel is of very special significance for the port of Hamburg. The passing place in particular will make it possible to get big ships past each other and to do it close to the port. That gives us more opportunities to get more ships in and out on one tide. And the deepening of the channel means the ships can be more heavily laden. We expect to be able to import and export several million tons more goods from the port. The navigation channel adjustment project consists of several sub-projects. For example, the construction of new leading lights in Blancanesa, because in future, ships will take a more southerly course along the Elbe. In Wittenbergen, the new culvert between the Falkensteiner Ufer and the river island Nessant has already gone into operation. We managed to complete the culvert to Nessant last year according to plan. Now that's finished, we can complete the passing place and a decisive point is the deepening of the river down towards the mouth of the Elbe. So I'm pretty confident ships will be able to take advantage of the construction work in 2020 and we'll do our best to make it happen. The issue of sustainability will continue to be writ large in the port of Hamburg in 2020 as well. For example, shore power delivery to ships. For cruise ships as well as large container ships. We were the first European port to put a shore power facility in place and with the ability to transform frequencies from the US standard to the European and vice versa. I am very pleased that we can now extend this service. So we're planning two new facilities at two further cruise terminals, so apart from Altona, where it already exists, in Hafen City and Steinwerder. We'll also install them in the container terminals Toller Ort, Kai and Eurokai, which means the container ships will be able to make use of them. And the port of Hamburg is also trailblazing when it comes to alternative energy supplies in Europe. Of course, we're pleased that so many other ports around Europe are looking at how we've implemented this project and adopting the same standards as us, which makes things easier for the shipping companies, using the same standards, connections and technology. For the first time, a sustainability study has been unveiled for the whole port. It's something of a hybrid detailing the sustainable activities of the HPA and the various stakeholders active in the port. We didn't just look at the HPA, but looked at it with various stakeholders because you can only achieve sustainability if you cooperate with all of your partners. The results are impressive. 100,000 tonnes of carbon saved every year. And that's because various associations, companies and unions have worked together to define and implement sustainability for the whole of the port of Hamburg. Another big project that's close to completion in 2020 is the new Katvig Railbridge. Major milestones were achieved in 2019 with the completion of the access ramps and pylons. It's always great to see the teams work together. They can be proud of what they've achieved together. The bridge is due to be completed in 2020 so that rail traffic can pass over it. It's part of the port's sustainability strategy to decouple road and rail traffic. That will have a very positive impact on traffic and everyone's looking forward to it. And we're looking forward to part two of our look at the year ahead in 2020. We'll be back with digital innovation, the Port Railways, the Hamburg Fleet and a very special anniversary and lots more. Don't miss it. To be continued here on Port Is What We Do. Port Is What We Do. <laughs>